Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another Desmos graphing tutorial. Now before I get started, uh, uh, I just want to say that uh, starting next week, hopefully, uh, I want to want to uh, get started on, uh, on a Java game programming series. So uh, it's going to start from how to, how to uh, install e Eclipse. That's the, uh, that's the uh, Java programming compiler that we're going to be using. Um, and, uh, it's just going to go over how to, to, uh, um, download and, uh, and reference those libraries and add them to your Java build path. And, uh, and the series is going to take off from there. Um, okay. So other than that, uh, let's, uh, let's get started. So last time, uh, we were, uh, so, uh, we worked on this telephone, not telephone, the, the lamp post. Uh, for the streets, uh, I spent uh, quite a bit of time. I'm talking about how to how to get get the pole set up. Um, so today, uh, I want to get uh, I want to get a street lamp in um, because otherwise we can't light things up. Um, so so the street lamp shape that I want to go for it's the ones where you have have uh have a light hanging from here um so so um so first uh, i'm gonna create a bar coming out it's gonna be a short bar so i want to have one coming out let's say uh, at, at y equals 7.5 that looks okay and then uh, I'm also going to have y equals 7.75. That, yeah, that looks like a good starting point. <clears throat> and uh, so that I don't get too bothered. Uh, I want to draw everything to the left of x equal to 4 because this is where this vertical line is at. Yeah, um, and then uh, and uh, as for as for the actual lamp, um, I want to have I want to have an arc like this. So so for an arc, uh, I'm, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use uh, use a half oval. So uh, for so uh, to create that, I'm gonna say y equals square root. Of one minus x minus however much you want to shift to the left. So I want it to from here probably probably have the top over here. So that's three. And then uh, I want to add. Let's try eight. It's that's a little high. Um. But uh, I want to make the. So I want to shrink this down. That looks that looks exactly like the one that I wanted. Uh, and then what I do is do maybe a quarter down, three eighths. Nor quarter is good. Um, let's shift it down. To where the line is. I wonder what's going on outside. Is the like garbage truck coming in? Um. Okay. Uh. Actually, I, I want this to meet up with the red line down here. So I'm gonna. I want to say zero. I want to move that to seven point five. Now, I'm going to move that up by a half. Okay, and then this is going to be a little tricky. So, so at this red line, I'm um, going to easily set its distance. It's going to be right here. So that looks like 3.5. As, as far as blue line, we, we, uh, we actually have to estimate where, where this intersection point is. So this is 3. 
approximately. Um, and then uh, just to close off the bottom. What? Um, even though it's the same line, I want to create it uh, in a separate line. And uh, so that later uh, when we go into uh, when we do coloring, already uh, we can just we can easily copy and paste the, the, the line equation and its bounds with it. It's gonna go from two point five to three point five. That's what it looks like. Uh, two point five plus two. X plus two. So uh, and yeah, and they can go ahead and and uh, make a lines or color it you want. Um, so for my outline, I'm making them all black. Well, uh, well, there's the light. Um, in could be better, but uh, well, let's talk about uh, let's go, um, let's do a second lamp. Uh, just so you can see, uh, how do we add another, another lamp to make it align with this uh, perspective? So, um, so for me, the easiest way is to is to draw a line that passes through this point and this point. Um, so, so this is zero four, and this is. Four eight, and uh, so so we can see uh, the slope is going to be zero four four eight. Looks like it's two x. Well, let's let's try it. I want to make a negative it's positive. Oh wait, it's four. So delta y is four. Delta x is also four. It's just one. Um. Yeah, I did a goof up there. I. Actually, I divided eight by four and got two. Uh, but this is a good way to, to check our to, uh, to check our calculations. Um, so as uh, so for the second lamp, uh, so since and so since we're drawing a line relative to the left end of of, of this ellipse, um, so I want to put one about here. So I, I want to have an ellipse whose, whose left edge touches zero, uh, touches two comma six. Um, we can, you know what? Make this x greater than zero. Okay. Um, and then, and let's let's draw an ellipse like this. So y equals. T. Actually, I want x plus two squared minus two uh, plus y minus six squared, and all that is equal. It's going to equal to one. For uh, what scale to make it, we're going to follow what this is. So, this is, so, so first we're dividing by the square of 0 0.5 and all that at uh, it, all that equals oh the half squared um, well I am running out of time so so, uh, so we can start with the half squared but at the same time we, we want I want to make this to scale so just for now I'm just gonna put a fourth but uh, we'll, we'll fix it the next time. So I'll catch you later.